My heart is cold as Wisconsin. Ice. Nigga, I'm smooth like Johnson. Lotion. You already know how I'm coming. Hold up. I treat her like trash or I dumped them. In them sheets, I am a monster. Arr. She be screaming like a concert. concert. I point them out just like a hunter. Dead on. They call you a G when you younger. G. My heart is cold as Wisconsin. Ice. Nigga, I'm smooth like Johnson. Lotion. You already know how I'm coming. Hold up. I treat her like trash or I dumped them. Eel. In them sheets, I am a monster. Arr. She be screaming like a concert. concert. I point them out just like a hunter. Dead on. They call you a G when you younger. G. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kari Beats, back with a video, as y'all can see, man. And today, y'all see we're not doing a POV drive, but we are in the lovely Olivia. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even, it's daytime, but let me see some. Yeah, boy, it's something to look at. I really can't see him for real. But yeah, man, this is another video from your boy. Let me turn them off. I look stupid on him, I know. I know y'all weren't expecting to see my face on there. It's a little hot outside, so my face look a little glistening. You know, the sun just, you know, beaming right here. Just out here getting a little sun, man. But anyway, man, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you are new, turn on post notification bell so you won't miss another banger from your boy. But today, man, as y'all can see by the title, we're going to be talking about how I got my scat pack at the age of 21. You know what I'm saying? Which was, you know, a little while ago. You know what I'm saying? So obviously I'm not 21 right now. But when I was 21, that's when I copped Olivia, as far as y'all know her ass. You know what I'm saying? The loud scat pack. You feel me? So it really ain't too much in the depth to it. I just, you know, I want to do one of these videos, get y'all something a little different, you know? And um, yeah, just really get y'all something different, man. I know y'all, your POVs, I love doing the POVs. But you know, to get y'all boys a little informational or just Whatever type of video, man. Cause I know most people that watch my video, y'all are above 21. A few of y'all are like younger, but most of y'all are like 20, 21. You know what I'm saying? So it really ain't nothing too much to it, man. We're gonna dive right in it. Uh, back then in 2020, you feel me? When I got my car, bro, uh, cars are way cheaper. You know what I'm saying? Dodge wasn't very, very high how they is now. You know what I'm saying? You can get you a brand new scat back then for like under 40 you feel me like you can get a brand new scat like 36 well starting out okay we'll say starting out before tax and title and all that uh you will spend like the base price would be like 35 starting out 35 and you'll probably walk out the door 38 maybe 40 just depending on you know what i'm saying yeah you, what you trade in is if you're trading in all the extra stuff you add to it extended warranty gap all that stuff you know what i'm saying now for y'all that don't know man what gap is you need gap gap is very important I'm not gonna go into depth really what gap is and what it mean, but just know you need gap, bro. Gap is like another insurance. It's like a, it's an extra, you know what I'm saying, cushion. So if anything happens to your car, whatever the case may be, they take care of any balance you got left on the car. If the car get totaled, or you know what I'm saying, red dot, you're not done paying on it. You feel me? So just just know you always need gap. For anybody young watching, man, you buy a car, get gap, especially if it's new or if it's roughly new or just you know what I'm saying, a car that's gonna need warranty or maintenance or anything like that or it's a big purchase you feel me like you get like a cash car out there i don't really matter but paying notes on the bird get gap because you never know when you're gonna need it but nevertheless that ain't the main part of the video but basically man what i did then you know obviously build your credit you know what i'm saying save up some money that's the main two things building credit and saving money but with me personally my credit my credit score was straight back like you know what i'm saying it was they were pretty decent, you know what I'm saying? Like mid, close to mid tier sixes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't low sixes, it was like right in the middle, you know what I'm saying? In the sixes. So like, even with that, at the time, I needed a cosigner steel. I could have got the car, but it was like, from what I wanted, the, the, the deal I wanted, I needed a cosigner to kind of get a better deal. You know what I'm saying? Cause my credit worthiness was like, it was right there, but it wasn't, it was a little shy. It was a little shy of the credit worthiness that they would like for me to have to get this car at the time. So I did get a cosign at the time and then I refinanced the same year. You know what I'm saying? So, or like within less than six months, like three, four months, I refinanced. So that really what most of y'all can do. That's another little thing, you know what I'm saying? If y'all didn't know that, if you find somebody with decent credit that can cosign for you, your parents wise, or you know somebody that's trustworthy enough to cosign with you, you know what I'm saying? You can just use them to get the car. And then after you get the car, probably pay a car payment or three, Refinancing your name, bro. Lower uh interest rate, lower car payment. You good to go, you know what I'm saying? 
So, but yeah, basically, man, it's credit worthiness. Your credit worthiness is what really matters. Everybody talk about your score. It's a lot of people that got 700 credit scores with no credit worthiness, bro. Like, they got a 700 credit score or a 680, and you don't even got enough credit worthiness to get a, a decent credit card amount. You know what I'm saying? Some folks have 700 credit score can only get a $250, you feel me, uh, limit. You know what I'm saying? Back then, when I had got a credit card at the time, I got I got uh, approved for a thousand dollar limit on my first ever credit card in in my life, a thousand dollar, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it was with Capital One, and everybody know about Capital One, but them, them, them boys, you know what I'm saying? The truth. So, but yeah, man, it's all about your credit worthiness. You feel me? Like buying your car before then, or getting your credit card, paying on the credit card. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a cell phone bill, something of that nature, bro. Something that can go on your credit and you know what I'm saying, get your credit score to go up. You got payments on it, they see that you got history. Banks wanna see your worthiness as in, you know what I'm saying, they can trust you with this loan or not. They can trust you to pay this loan or pay your payments how you supposed to pay them, you know what I'm saying, or at least afford it, you feel me? So, credit go a long way. You can't have money, you know, a lot of folks go cash, people wanna pay cash or people put down $20,000 for a $40,000 car, you paying half of the car up front. Just for them to be like, oh, we trust you. You might as well go to a buy here, pay here, bro, and just get you an SRT8 or an older Mustang or an older uh, Camaro or whatever you're going to do. But, you know what I'm saying? Credit worthiness. That's what, I, well, that's what that's what I needed, but I almost had it. But I had got a co-sign, you feel me, at the time just to get the car. If y'all go back and watch the video, I had a video the other day that I got my car. And was talking about whatever, just a little process of showing what I did, you know what I'm saying, or what I was doing that day to get my car. But I did get a cosign at the time. I did a trade in for my RT, and I had negative negative equity on my RT. It wasn't much; it was like two bands or something like that. So that's why I had to put down a down payment for that for my car, this car, because I had a negative equity, you know what I'm saying, a two racks. So that's where my down payment came from. If I, if I wasn't doing a trade-in, if I was just selling that car, like straight up, or somebody would've came and bought it or something like that, when somebody did come and buy it the same week, the same week I sold my RT, somebody bought it the same week, bro. Literally the same week. So, yeah, that's the only way I had a down payment. You know what I'm saying? And that was that two bands of negative equity I had. And that's another thing y'all gotta learn, bro. If y'all got a car, learn what your car is worth. You know what I'm saying? Go on Kelly Blue Book or go get appraisals, whatever like that. See how much your car worth for the condition it's in. Woo the woo, whatever. And see how much you owe in your loan. You know what I'm saying? If you know you got a big gap, you're going to have to knock that down or you're going to be looking forward to putting that money on top of the next car you're getting. Or you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. And if you're close to 10 racks, it ain't even worth it. Unless you just hit the lottery and you just got it like that. You know what I'm saying? Or you just got it like that. So it just all depends on what you want to do. Well, yeah, man, build your credit, credit worthiness, save some money, obviously, you know what I'm saying? I saved up a good amount of money that, that same year before I came and got that car in the previous year. So I was pretty straight regardless. I was like, I had I had the type of money where I could put down a, what, I would, what I would say myself a ridiculous amount for a down payment just to get this car, which I'm glad I didn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Thank the Lord I didn't have to do that because I really didn't want to do that. But yeah, man, so build your credit worthiness, Save you up a little bread, a couple racks. You know what I'm saying? At least like, for most folks, if you know your credit ain't like that, or if you don't got nobody to co-sign with you, at least have at least around like, well, I don't know, nine times are different, but back then you can have at least like two to two to five, I'd say two to 5,000 back then, but not probably like, I'd say like three to, three to eight to 10, bro. But now they got a law, you know, you don't have to put down a down payment for a car. Well, I know a used car for sure. New cars, I'm not too sure, but used cars, you don't have to put down a down payment to, in order to receive a car. That's not a priority, you know what I'm saying? That's a privilege for the dealership. You don't gotta do that. They just try to persuade you to do that, you know what I'm saying, so they can get some money out your up front, or you know, they be like, you know, you knock down your payment, but every thousand dollars only knock off like $20 of your payment, bro, or 15 for some people. So, imagine if you want, a hundred dollars off you want your payment to be a hundred dollars less than what it is they offering you 
You gotta put down five bands, bro. Five bands just to knock off a hundred dollars. That's insane. Five bands just to knock off a hundred dollars. To me, that's insane. It ain't a bad amount for a down payment depending on what kind of car you're getting. But at the end of the day, that's five racks up front just for you to be like, oh yeah, I knocked off a hundred dollars. Gave them, gave them boy five racks though. Like, come on, man. You could have did something with that. You could have did anything, you know what I'm saying? Anything. But, yeah, man, build your credit worthiness, your credit in general. Your credit score don't necessarily matter. It do, but it don't. Because you can have a, like I said, you can have a 700, 750 with no credit history. You can have a 600 flat with excellent credit history. And, you know what I'm saying? You'll get the car versus somebody who got a 700 with nothing. Like a kid with 700, perfect credit score with nothing on it versus a kid or an adult with like a 620, 630, but he got excellent credit history. He got like, he had two or three credit cards. He had a car already or two, you know what I'm saying? Cell phone, whatever credit line, furniture, you feel me? Um, if y'all never heard of finger hood, you can do like finger hood, affirm, things that you paying payments on to get something. Like all that stuff, any, all that stuff count, bro. Uh, what it is, you got an app called Kickoff, you got Self, you know what I'm saying? You got all these different things, man, to help build your credit easily. I know a lot of y'all probably heard of this already, but for the folks that didn't hear about it, that's what you can do, bro. Kickoff, self. I forgot the other one. But yeah, like, I don't know if people still use Fingerhood, but like Fingerhood, uh, Fingerhood is a thing. It's kind of like Amazon. Like, something you can just order dang and anything off of there, like PlayStation, TV, laptops, remote control cars, tools, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Off of that. And you can pay on it with payments. You feel me? To pay out the total amount if you don't want to pay it up front. So, yeah, y'all boys tap into that. For anybody looking to build their credit or anybody looking to, you know, just get a car. Right now, you know, cars are way different. You know what I'm saying? The prices are way higher, but, you know what I'm saying? Pretty straight. Pretty straight on that. But that's basically what I did, man. I just saved up some money. I took a year, saved up a good amount of bread at the time. I already had a car. I had an RT. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't nothing wrong with the RT. Like I had it tuned. I, I was going to supercharge it, but I had to end up leaving while I was at when I came back home to get this car. So it just didn't work out. I kind of wish I would have went ahead and supercharged it because if I did, I probably wouldn't have got a scat. I still wanted to get a scat just because that was a goal, but I probably wouldn't have went with it because I would have had a Hellcat RT. So it would have been like, it ain't no point in getting no scat. You know what I'm saying? When I got this. But I kind of wish I would have did it. It would have been crazy content, and it would have been, and that would, and I, and I had a 2014 body back then, so that, I kind of would have been like how people are now with the swaps. I would have been like that before people really was doing swaps or called it that. So, yeah. But nevertheless, man, I know that I ain't got too too much to say because not too too much to really explain. But just basically, like I said, build your credit. Credit worthiness is important, and if you need a co-signer or they prefer one, depending on if you know somebody that can do it. I just luckily got bliss to get one. So, you know, get your co-signer if you need it. Just tell your co-signer, like, hey, man, you ain't got to be on the long, long. Just make sure that you know you're going to take care of at least have your funds right for the first six months of paying it. So you can just have them on there for them for a couple months. They're going to build both of y'all credit. So it's a, it's a win-win for both of y'all as long as you do right. Build both of y'all credit. And then, you know what I'm saying? You get them off of their refinance. Now you got it in your own name and you good. Like, it just, it's all you now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people try to look down on folks that get a cosign, but it's like, it wouldn't, they, the option wouldn't be there, if, you know what I'm saying? If there was something wrong with it. The option wouldn't be there. But, you know what I'm saying? Nevertheless, just do those things, man. You know what I'm saying? Get your credit card if you're trying to do it now. Get your, well, I personally, I ain't gonna lie, me personally, I don't care for credit card, bro, because you gotta really be a disciplined person to have a credit card, bro. If you know how you is or you know, like, you will spend up or you'll run up a credit card quick because it's just there and then now you look back, you gotta pay that money back and you the type, you know what I'm saying, you just not good with that, bro. Don't do it, bro. Or don't get a big amount. Get like a $200 limit, $100 limit if they got it. Or just, or just like, just leave it alone. Like I said, get self, kick off, get stuff that you paying towards every month. And you'll see the money later. Like, self is like, you pay like $20 a month 
and then you, you equal up to five hundred dollars, and then at the end of the turn, they send you that five hundred dollars back. So you basically just paying yourself, you know what I'm saying, and building your credit at the same time. So I did that, and that was pretty cool. I finished the turn, I got the five hundred back. They do give you the money back. So yeah, that's a smooth little five hundred that just come out of the blue because you will forget about it because you just paying that little twenty dollars because you spend twenty dollars every day just to get something to eat. So that ain't really nothing. So you know what I'm saying, do that. And then, you know, you can do kickoff. Kickoff, they got a $5 deal every month, and they got a $20 one. So you just pick whatever one you want to do. I started with the $5 one. That was not too long ago, actually. So, yeah, I'm going to see what that's talking about. And y'all boy do that, man. It ain't too much to it. Just build your credit. You know what I'm saying? Have a little money on the side just in case you want to put a down payment. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much how I got my Olivia, what I'm saying, man. That's pretty much how I got this. At the age of 21. I was 21 when I got that car. The month of my birthday. Before my birthday, I was 21 when I got it. So, yeah, man. That's pretty much it, though. If I got any more questions, comment down below. You know what I'm saying? I try my best to answer them as correctly as I can. And, uh, yeah, man. I really ain't got too much else to say. Y'all also comment what other kind of videos y'all would like to see, man. I know y'all wasn't expecting to see my face, or y'all don't even know what I look like for all my new subscribers watching. I ain't gonna show my face too much, but I might start getting back into it, you know what I'm saying? Show my face and go to, try to start going to events when I can, interact with everybody, for people that know me and get my name out there, man. So, yeah, man. But other than that, I ain't got too much to say to y'all, boy. Make sure y'all, boy, stay blessed, stay prayed up, man. Keep God first, keep him in the meets. You know what I'm saying? For all my religious folk, man, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. But like how I also say, and at the end of my video, man, I'm out of here like yesterday. Peace.